Do it, Houston Texans. Do it. Do it. Hire Jonathan Gannon. I'll even throw in the Umbrella Man. 18th pick in the NFL draft. The hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding Bad here, and I hope everybody's having a great football Friday. Hope you're all doing well. You know, we are headed into the divisional round, all the playoffs. I cannot wait. I'm excited about these games that are going to take place this weekend. Um, but for our Eagles, for our Eagles, we could have some big time stuff going on. But before we get into that, a word from the sponsor. Listen. When it comes to watching sports, when it comes to betting sports, there are two ways you could go about it. You could do it the Eagles analytic department way, where they're in a basement in a cold, dark room somewhere, crunching numbers that they don't even know what it means. Or you could do it the Philly 500 way, where you're constantly entertained and enjoy every moment of the process. This is why... I start my day by going to thegameday.com where they add excitement to live sports with a constant influx of sports entertainment and sports betting content which includes best bets, picks, previews, predictions, you know I love predictions, the ride along series and much more. The game day makes betting entertaining as well as watching sports in general and they use their partnership with major sports book operators to bring consumers competitive promotions. So click the link in the description and go to thegameday.com, check it out for yourself. I promise you, you are going to love everything here and you are going to be entertained and you are going to get the knowledge you need to make the bets that you need to make. And let them know when you're there. Philly 500 sent you. Shout out to the game day for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are also in the need for a big screen TV, maybe some other prizes, check out the game day's big game giveaway, the Super Bowl giveaway. Uh, the link is in the description. Go and enter and get your chance to win a big screen TV. Uh, I wish you guys luck. Go win some prizes, no doubt about it. Now, there's some big things possibly happening with the Philadelphia Eagles, starting with the defensive coordinator. Starting with Jonathan Gannon, because as you guys know, Jonathan Gannon has been going around, making rounds with a few teams, interviewing for a head coaching job. How the hell is he getting a head coaching job? Um, interviews so far? I have no idea. But apparently, he interviewed with the Houston Texans, and now he's the front runner. He blew them away. What did he say? Hey, we're going to give up a bunch of yards, but uh, I'll eventually adjust. Why not hire me? I have no idea. I, I, if I was the, the Texans, I would hire Flores. Because Deshaun Watson likes him, then maybe you just wind up keeping him. But, who the hell knows? But, Jonathan Gannon is supposed to be the front runner. Please, God. Please, God. Please, let them hire him. Let them hire him. As you can tell, I want Jonathan Gannon gone. I want him gone. And it's not anything personal. I'm just not a big fan of his philosophy because the way I see Jonathan Gannon's philosophy is we are basically a bend but don't break team. We're going to wait and react to what the offense does and then we we'll tighten up in the red zone and try to give up field goals. Well, that don't work when you play Brady, when you play Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> it didn't work when you played Dak Prescott. It doesn't work against the better quarterbacks in this league. And I just am not a fan of... Of that philosophy at all okay if we're gonna say this listen if we're gonna say this if we're gonna say hey you know what the Eagles what's their identity they're a run first team smash mouth physical team that's how they play football that's how they play offense well what are you gonna say about the identity of the defense they sit back and wait what's their identity because to me if you want an identity uh, like, you know, you have on offense where you're a smash mouth, tough offense who's going to run the ball down teams' throats. I think you need a equal identity on defense. And, it sh and, and if you take Philadelphia, you take the city, you take its history, it should be a physical defense who gets at the quarterback and dictates to the offense what is going to happen and is not dictated to. 
And that's what we got with Schwartz, and we get even more so with Jonathan Gannon. So I want a defensive coordinator, uh, preferably somebody in, from the Jim Johnson tree, somebody who believes that you have to get to the quarterback. I really think that in this modern day of football, where the offenses have so much of an advantage, you have to have a team that blitzes, that that its main priority is to get to the quarterback because that is still the one neutralizer, the one big neutralizer for defenses in the National Football League, getting to the quarterback and being physical. That is That should be the identity of this defense, okay? And that would match the identity of the offense. But right now with Gannon, they don't have that. But if he leaves and takes the head coaching job, we're going to get the opportunity. Now you're going to say, who do you want to replace him? I don't know yet. I don't know exactly, but I can tell you this. Vic Fangio is out there. I will call him up right away, and I would bring him in because he's a fantastic defensive coordinator. Zimmerman was a fantastic defensive coordinator. There are guys out there. If you want to maybe pluck somebody off of the Bills defensive staff, somebody like I'm okay with it. But you have to change the identity on defense, you know. Uh, and, and if Gannon doesn't go, if he doesn't go, and I've said this countless th thousands of times already, you have to rebuild your defensive line with possibly two big signings, or you know, a big signing and a draft pick being uh, defensive ends. Because if Gannon stays, then you put more pressure on your front four to get pressure all the time because he doesn't like to blitz. And I'm going to say this about Gannon. Sometimes he blitzed, they were ridiculous, they were easy to see. And other times... They did blitz in the second half, and you saw things change. Like, think about the Washington game, right? The second Washington game, Washington's going down the field the whole first half, right? Tyler Heineken, whatever the hell's name is, he looks like Joe Montana. The Eagles made some adjustments. They start bringing a little more pressure, and all of a sudden, he didn't do anything in the second half. If Gannon started like that in the first half of these games, uh, we might not be coming back from 10-0. Even playing Tampa, I thought early on defensively, they just sat back and let Brady do whatever he wanted. I don't believe you can do that. Um, I don't like the idea that you have a, a Darius Slay, right? So, like, like, here's an example. Like, you have a guy like Darius Slay. You take a Darius Slay, a Jalen Ramsey. You take all the best corners. What do they love to do? The main thing that gets them up for a game, the main thing they love more than anything else is they like to go after, go up against the best wide receiver and shut him down. That's a big deal for them. So you got a guy like Darius Slay who gets up for those kind of things, and what do you do? You play zone. You let him sit back. You don't even use him the right way. Uh, remember the Jets game. Uh, it was Elijah Moore. He's sitting around killing us in the first half. Uh, Nelson goes. Uh, Nelson goes out. He hurt. They have to put Slay on Moore. And what happens? He, Slay shuts him down. He doesn't do anything in the second half. You got to get a guy like that and use him to his strengths. So to me, I just don't like Jonathan Gann's philosophy. So if, if it's even possible, even possible that he gets another job somewhere, do it. Do it. I hope he gets it. God bless. Damn. Whoa, dude. I just got lost in the moment. I was looking at the camera for a second. I thought Denzel Washington was talking. Don't I look like Denzel Washington? Yeah. Damn right. But anyways, I'm off track. I want. I, I hope he gets tired, and I hope we get a, a, a defensive coordinator whose identity on defense will be as aggressive and match the identity we have on offense. I want a defense that dictates to the offense, that brings pressure from everywhere. I want corners coming. I want, I want linebackers coming. I want quarterbacks to be confused. The one thing I'll say about Jim Johnson and then um, Jonathan Gannon is, Jonathan Gannon, you had rookie quarterbacks like Zach Wilson go out and have huge days against the Eagles. Huge days, throw big numbers. Uh, when when you know you had Jim Johnson, defensive coordinator, the one thing you never saw was a young quarterback be successful against the Eagles. It didn't happen. He didn't allow it to happen. And to me, we need to get back that identity. We need to get back that Buddy Ryan, Jim Johnson, Bud Carson. That kind of identity needs to come back to the Philadelphia Eagles on defense. And it will match the identity on offense. So we definitely have to do that. Now, two other things I want to say real quick. Uh, Jason Kelsey, 
is Jason Kelsey is considering retiring. I hope he stays one more year. Um, whether he, he retires or not, one of the Eagles greats, you got to love him. But I hope he has at least one more year in. I hope the way Kelsey goes out is this. I hope he comes out and he says, you know what? I'm going to play one more year and then I'm hanging it up. So that we know at the beginning of the season, this is his last year. And he can get appreciated the way he needs to all year. Because Kelsey can still play. He's still, in my opinion, the best center in football. And I want him back one more year. But we'll see what uh, what, what happens. But the Eagles are going to have to address it in the draft. No question about it. Um, the other thing is, is we got the four games this weekend. I will be streaming... Probably not going to stream the Bengals-Titans game, only because I got some things going on uh, with vehicles and stuff like that. I have to take care of tomorrow. But I'm going to stream the Sunday games, and I'm going to stream the Green Bay game tomorrow night. So look for that. And I'll give you a few. I'll tell you who I think is going to win real quick. I'll give you like a little prediction on the way out. So you have the Bengals and the Titans, right? I don't know. I have a weird feeling the Bengals are going to win. I have a weird feeling. So I'm going to take the huge upset this week. I'm going to say the Bengals beat the Titans. Just got a weird feeling, man. Just a weird feeling. Um, then you have, what, you have the 49ers at Green Bay. I like Green Bay that game. I think Rodgers and Green Bay, so, night, a Saturday night game. Yeah, I'm taking the Green Bay Packers. Then you have, what's the other game we have? Then we have Rams, Tampa. I'm taking the Buccaneers. I think the Buccaneers are going to win a close game and, you know, Wild finish. I got the Bucks, And then you have um, Buffalo Bills versus the Chiefs. Now, I'm personally rooting for the Buffalo Bills to win. I would love to see the Bills go back to the Super Bowl, okay? But I think the Chiefs are going to win the game. So I'm going to take the Chiefs, but my heart-wise, well, not really my heart, but but rooting-wise, I'm going to be rooting for Buffalo, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. So that'll set up next week's AFC-NFC Championship game. I believe it'll be... The Cincinnati Bengals versus the Chiefs. And then you're going to have Bucks Packers. And that's how it'll go. Um, with that said, take care. Talk to you later. And of course, don't be a dingbat. I will. I will give. I'll give the umbrella man. I'll give Jalen Regalar. I'll give them all in a package deal to get Jonathan Gannon to Houston. I'll do it in a second. I'll give Michael Anthony Where's the Fitness up to Houston. Just take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, man. No question about it. You know, I also want to give a quick shout out to Housecat. Uh, he has my design for my new shirt. I did. I haven't I, I haven't released it yet. I, I'm, I'm, I'm behind on that. But, uh, you guys, I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek at what the next shirt is going to look like very very soon. Very very soon. Actually, look for a video probably either tonight or tomorrow. Um it'll just be a video of, of him creating it and then uh yeah, we'll have a new shirt for the year for 2022. Uh with that said, take care. Talk to you later and of course, Denzel Washington out.